Hey, what's happening guys? Today we are going to take a look at this, which is a little cute solar powered light that I picked up from uh, Dollar General for, uh, as you can see, just $5. Also like to wish a special happy birthday to Uncle Rob, purveyor of Uncle Rob's magic solder flux. Happy birthday, buddy. All right, so I picked this up, like I said, from the dollar store just because I thought it looked neat and it looked really nice and everything was contained right here. So let me uh, we'll remove this tag, which, as you know, doesn't really say much. And this little white thing you see here is a power switch, so. Off, on. <laughs> wow. I see the switch in there, but it doesn't seem to... Oh, there it clicked. All right, let's see if this thing will turn on now. No? Hang on. Boy, is this going to be turn out to be a, a, a disappointing video if I can't get this thing to work. I should be able to remove this with these two screws here. And we'll see what there is to see. Because obviously this thing is way too small for a double A AA or triple A battery. So my guess is it's using like a CR2032 or something along those lines for power. Okay. What do we got to do to make this come apart? Let me think about this. So disassembly was a success. We are left with three main parts. We have the metal cage, the bulb, which has a uh, kind of like a little pseudo light pipe thing going on in there. And this is just, uh, yeah, this is just pressed in here. Hang on. Look at that. I don't want to break this, but you can see it's got little uh, filaments just like inscribed in the plastic. Yeah, there's not much, much going on there. All right, let's take a look here. Let me get some more light. Okay. Zoom in here. And this is the actual unit. You see we have a little... LED there and it's being held in place by this white plastic cover let's remove that screws out of here give me a second all right I removed the uh, the plastic stand there and now we get a look inside here <clears throat> You can see there's just simply two wires going to the solar panel. And they come back and they feed this little tiny four pin chip. Let's see if I can zoom in there. Might be able to read it. Man, it just does not want to focus on that. Anyway, is that upside down? Yeah. That's hard to read. Oh, oh, it wasn't upside down. Okay. There you go. So that's just a little controller chip. Boost the voltage up a little bit because we have our battery here. 
1.2 volt 40 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride. We have an inductor and a switch. So it's just a simple little um, jewel thief circuit. It's really all, all it is. Definitely uh, made down to the lowest possible price. But you know what? It'll probably look good at night. <laughs> so there it is, all reassembled. I turn the light on. You can see it goes out, and then I turn the light off. It comes on. Uh, I don't know what else you can really say for a little outdoor lighty thing. Is it worth the... Uh, $5 I paid for it? Maybe. I'll hang it outside and we'll see. But it's cute. It was cheap. I like the dollar store, so that's what we did today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.